It's tradition to stick with the royal... Yeah, you, you know the tradition of the royal family? Murder, genocide, rape, doll bludging, yeah? How did the royal family even become the royal family? Like, we know how other families became famous. What about the... Like, the Kardashians, they had sex on tape. That's how they... Okay, here's a shorthand history. Hundreds of years ago, they were just a bogan family in England that woke up one morning, went to their neighbour's house, knocked on the door, killed their neighbours, stole their property and were like sick and they just did that over and over, knocking on their neighbours' doors, killing them, accumulating more and more wealth and property and after a while, you know, I mean, which makes sense now, given property prices, but back then, you know, <laughs> you could buy a house for a cough. They just did that over and over. And then after a while, you know, they'd call themselves lords. The most powerful lord got to be called king. And then at some point in history, uh, you know, someone was like, hey, enough of this white on white violence. Why don't we take these fun and games to the rest of the world? <laughs> and then they colonized the rest of the world. They created the third world. The third world wasn't just inherently poor. The British are largely to blame. They, they destroyed people and countries. They went everywhere. North and South America, Central America, Australia. They enslaved Aboriginal people, New Zealand. They just, just rocked up. They, Africa, Sri Lanka. We were colonised by the British. They, they, India? They rocked up to India. Indians were just standing there on the shores like, hello, welcome to India. Can we interest you in a table for... They've just walked right in. Look at that. Wow. Look at that large. The confidence of a white man. Okay, no worries. Make yourselves at home. They've taken my home. Okay, no <laughs> <Wow. laughs> 200 years later, they're like, it's getting a bit late. Um, do, do, you need, do you need a, a, a lift home? Do, you know? We are a nation of taxi drivers, if you like. We can, one of us can drop you. We're also very hungry. You've sent all our food to England, including spices for some reason. I don't know why you can't understand flavor, but anyway, we are very hungry. And the British were like, no, no, don't worry, we're leaving. We're just going to cut your country in half. And they did, they cut the country in half, killed one and a half million people immediately from starvation. 15 million people were displaced. Uh, the, the, that whole region has been warring for decades since. They drained $40 trillion out of India, making it now impossible for them to ever come out of poverty. And they just left, took everything, took the best shit. Indians were just standing there like, okay, thank you very much for coming. Before you leave, would you like to complete a short customer satisfaction survey? <laughs> of our colonization. <laughs> they just they took everything. Unashamedly. They took the Kohinoor diamond. You know that diamond which is now valued at over $550 million? They stole it on their way out and it's on one of the one of the royal family's crowns. The Queen often wore it on her head. She did the Christmas message wearing it. Everyone be nice to each other, look after each other, be kind to each other. And Indians would just be looking at that like, give us back that fucking rock, bitch. <laughs> They didn't just, I mean, steal it. It wasn't a war. They stole it from an 11 year old boy who was in possession of it. They stole it from him and they, and they left. They're supposed to be the head of the church, the royal family. I'm familiar with the archbishops, Christian. It doesn't say thou shall not steal, except if it's like this really sick diamond, you know? <laughs> According to, you know, the, the, you know, the Queen and King's archbishop, the only thing you're supposed to steal from a child is his virginity. According to. <laughs> Not sure if that'll make the edit, but... <laughs>